I'm in Switzerland. We got in yesterday, we're in Zurich, and we are leaving Zurich today to go to the Trip Bridge Heights. It's currently not even 6 a.m., but I'm very excited and very much awake because of it. Look at this tiny little coffee. Isn't it the cutest little, smallest thing? Okay, the funniest thing though, in this little lobby here, the coffee machine, look at this menu. You can get chocolate, chocolate with milk, or milk with chocolate. Like, what is the difference? There's no like workers at this hotel, which is interesting. Yesterday, we walked around like Old Town Zurich. It was super cute, super fun. Honestly, I wish we did have more time here. And everywhere else will be just as great, but it's super cute over here. We drove around two hours from the hotel to get to the hike. After you park, there's like a little ticket area, and then you have to take a 10 minute gondola ride up like halfway. You could hike the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure it's like a seven hour plus adventure. So we did a gondola for the first chunk and I never ridden on a gondola before. So that was like a crazy experience for me. And then, you know, you start like walking, there's tons of waterfalls, just like really cool scenery, of course. Like you're literally in a mountain, which I hate that the camera just does not do justice, but we saw a lot of sheep and friends. So that was kind of cool. This is 12, 3.30 in real life, but more intense. It's kind of cool how you just like coexist and walk past them like they don't care about you. So here the main attraction is the suspension bridge. We're getting closer and closer to the bridge and I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. So going into it, I was honestly pretty terrified because if you look at pictures online, the bridge looks so scary and I've never done anything like this before. So right away I was like, I, I don't know what I'm getting into, right? But then, you know, once we got there, obviously the views were insane. We saw like a glacier and there's fresh glacier water, the color, like everything's just like literally so cool. But then once you actually get on the bridge, like it really was not that bad. Stop. <laughs> I can't decide if I want to pee my pants right now, but they're jumping <laughs> and the bounces are unsettling. <laughs> if you actually look, the wiring that holds the bridge is pretty intense. We're doing great. It's been better than I thought. So it was so cool, but I obviously didn't uh, look down a whole lot, but we actually crossed it and then crossed right back to get to the next place. Feeling good, feeling great. There's actually a hut like way up here, so that is next. It was the pictures. You know, the pictures online made me really scared. This next part though is a whole different type of incline. So there are arrows, if you can see, that kind of guide you where you're supposed to go. And we started hiking like literally up these rocks and they have chains literally like into the rock. I don't know how they put it there, but literally into the rocks so that you can hold onto it as you're going up because you are like going up so high. And then we reached the hut. The hut was so cute and just the perfect little setup. Obviously the views were breathtaking and I would not shut up about how excited I was to have a mountain beer. So that's exactly what we did. We had beer, like cheese and crackers, little appetizers and stuff and just took a break before we had to head back down. It was adorable. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. People actually stay in rooms up here too, which is so cool. This hike was honestly a great workout and just felt so good too. Good morning after Trift Bridge, which the hike was so good, so fun. The best workout, the best weather, like it was so good yesterday. We left that area and drove about three hours to our Airbnb where we are staying. Here's a look into the Airbnb that we stayed at the rest of the days. It was very cute and cabin-like. I slept upstairs. It was three floors because there was a lot of us, but so cool. Again, you literally like walk out the door. There's a wraparound type porch area and just mountain. You know, we're in the middle of a mountain, just chilling. The view is insane. I got up this morning at like 8, had some coffee, and just like sat and looked at the mountains. It's crazy because the sun was so warm and so bright that it made the mountains look so dark because it was all like shadows and stuff, but it was the coolest thing. I could sit there all day. Not a bad view to wake up to. But I just got ready. I'm wearing this cute little romper. We are going to some wineries today, and we're also visiting a little castle, so I'm excited to show you that. It is just so beautiful here. The drives were always so pretty. We got out to the castle, which is a very like historical area, but just so beautiful. Like I've never been inside of a castle before. You know, it's so cool. Not to mention the little cafe before we went inside. I had the best quiche of my life there. So we already started off on a good note, but it was super cool inside. You know, you see like the cobblestone roads. There was just a lot of cool things to see and like read about in the water. Oh my goodness. Do you see the water? So blue, so fresh, so pretty, just like this whole thing was so cool. You got to tour around a, a, like a bunch of different rooms. There were so many different things to see. The castle was honestly huge too. It was cool to like learn about all the things that happened there way back when and then just look out every lookout that there was in the castle and see the water and the towns and just everything. Like I could just sit and look at the blue water all day. It was so clear. Like we do not have water that clear back here. We just don't. It's, it's not a thing. It was so pure there.
Just getting to the wineries, I'm very excited. It is so beautiful. Beer on top of a mountain after a hike yesterday and now having wine on top of a mountain. This is insane. Of course the winery was insane. I expected nothing less. We tasted a bunch of different wines and had the best fondue and cheese plate. Oh my goodness. On our way back to the Airbnb, we actually stopped in another town called Veve. We got some beer, we got some ice cream, just hung out for a bit. Of course, it was so cute and beautiful, and it was actually a holiday weekend, so there was more going on. Good morning. It's another hike day. I have my cute little sling bag on, of course, as always. Yesterday, we did the castle all day, and then we went to a beautiful winery with the best cheese, great wines, like just the best scenery, like as you could imagine in Switzerland. And then we went to this cute little town called Veve and just like walked the streets. Today's actually a national Swiss holiday, August 1st, so we'll kind of see if there's like a bunch of people around. We're going to the Matterhorn. It's always a surprise every day. I never know what to actually expect. Next up is the Matterhorn, which is a major attraction. So we took that shuttle into town called Zermatt and of course we had to stop at this the pretzel so stand good. to get a cheese covered pretzel. Okay, how cool is that? Then we took a long train ride up the mountain and the Matterhorn is this. So it's a tall mountain part of the Swiss Alps. We got up there very snowy on the mountains, but not on the ground. We ate at this building that looks kind of like a castle. There was also a gift shop in there, stuff like that. I always tried to try new Swiss dishes, so that was very good. At the top, there was a lot of lookout areas and places to kind of just look around, but eventually we did make our way and hike a bit down the mountain. There's one of the trains making its way up. The air was so fresh there, and this looks so cool, right? But just imagine it being like 100 times cooler in person. You know, the camera is just never comparable. We are up high. That's the only wisdom I have at this point. I took the train all the way up, two trains up here. A big draw to one of the lakes is that you can see the Matterhorn's reflection depending on the sun, time of day, all of that. After all that, we had to check out the town, of course. The day is not complete without ice cream, so we walked around a bit, ate dinner in town. Another day, another balcony talk. Yesterday, so fun. We were in Zermatt all day. We went up to the Matterhorn. We explored around the cute little town. It was great. Cutest town, great gelato. I had a wine mojito that was really close. I don't think I've ever had one before. I'm in my cute little Halara activewear dress right now because we are going on a boat. We're going on a little boat tour like around the city. It's gonna be so pretty. And then after, I think we're gonna hang out at the beach. So can't complain, hey. The boat tour we did was an hour long boat ride in the town of Geneva, which is very interesting because the other parts of Switzerland so far we explored were more of the German speaking areas and now we were getting into more of the French speaking areas so very cool and honestly just very pretty it was fun to just chill and look out and and get some fresh air it was so hot out that day so it was just nice to be out in the water and just take a break and take it all in So we're in Geneva, we did the boat earlier. As you saw, we just had lunch at this great place. I had a fondue, which was amazing. It's interesting though, because now we're more of like on the French speaking side of Switzerland, where before it was more German. So it's it's just so cool how like this country has so many different Language. aspects and languages and things. It's wild. We're walking to the car because we're getting swimsuits and we're going to the beach. I know I've said this a million times about how it's so beautiful everywhere here, but now it's just like a different kind of beautiful. It, it looks more like Frenchy, like France, like it's cool. We will for sure be picking up some good Swiss chocolate. All the chocolate I've had so far, which is just like little bars like plain chocolate has been so good. Cheese too, of course, I've had a lot of cheese. Different fondues, like just lots of cheese in general. There's also a lot of really cool shopping and really cool stores here. We just passed the Louis Vuitton and Cartier. There's just like, there's a lot of cool things. This town has a lot to offer. We just walked through town a little bit to get to the car, grabbed our suits and whatever we needed, and then we did end up spending the rest of the afternoon at the beach, which was so needed because it was so sunny and so hot out, so it was really just perfect. Today we are in Grunwald. It's a very, very pretty area. We're doing like a little walk. It's not much of a hike. It's more of like a walk walk, and then there's a water. It's a three hour drive though, so we're pretty far away from where we're staying. And then we'll do dinner here. It's fun. It's really, really nice out though. I'm wearing like shorts. It's been good. And I got a coffee. So this town is Grindelwald. From this area, kind of where we parked and stuff, we did take a gondola up a little bit. It wasn't a super long ride, 
but there's like walks and stuff like this. There are attractions like zip lining and stuff you could do up here, which we actually did not. Tickets for that were actually sold out. So this is a very popular area. This bridge you see here is one of the main attractions. It's called the First Cliff Walk, which we did go on that later. But we just kind of walked around. We got so close to cows. It's kind of funny. Like, like I said before about the sheep, you just coexist. Like they, you just hang out with them. You know, it's kind of funny. So we saw some nice fresh water. Again, it's so cool how clear it is. And then we did walk along this bridge. So it is very high up. And then you're just like right next to this cliff. Not as scary as the suspension bridge, but you are up very high. Like you never can really tell on camera, but you're up really high. But you, you just can't think about falling, you know. But as you kind of keep walking, you curve around. Around the cliff and then there is kind of a lookout point area as you can see here we did stop at this little restaurant and grab a beer which was fun the amount of time I slept in the car was wild we had a lot of early mornings but a lot of long drives the next day we did go to Trumbullock Falls which is essentially a waterfall cave mountain we're in a cave we're in a cave a cave inside a mountain here was 10 glacier fed waterfalls inside of the mountain which was just so cool it was so loud and you actually got pretty wet Next, we took a long train ride all the way up to Jungfrau, which is essentially the tallest accessible point in Europe. So you can imagine how cold it was. And it obviously looks cold too because it's so snowy. It was like 80 degrees when we first got to Grindelwald and literally 40 up here. So we definitely layered quite a bit. We took the train up to Jungfrau, which is the highest train station. We were gonna go on this like cool hike through the like mountain where it's all snowy and stuff, but it is close, unfortunately. But this is like just all so cool. And we're up so high. We're in like a tunnel in a mountain. We're walking through this like cave thing. It's crazy because at the bottom it was like 80 degrees, but up here it's literally 40. So we had to layer up. It looks like they play sports way up here. Okay, the next part, look at this. Literally in an ice castle. Yeah, so there's literally an ice castle that you can walk through. Like, look at the floors, the wall ceilings, whatever. So obviously it's freezing in there, but it was slippery. Like, you could walk, but I had fun, you know, trying to slide around and whatnot. But it was just cool. It was just something that you walk through and see. There was a couple plaques and things to read. Like I said, the hike that we planned to do way up here was close, so that was sad, but it was just super cool. You know, like when you could just see something like this. Then we stopped at the chocolate store. We grabbed a bunch of lint truffles. We started our departure on two trains. This was our last day here. And then we stopped in a town called Burn on the way to our Airbnb for dinner. We actually took a mild dip in the lake as well. Final day shenanigans, but we had to leave at 4 a.m. to catch our flight the next day. And funny story, we actually got a flat tire on the way to the airport. So it was a whole fiasco, but we did catch our flight. It was a nine and a half hour flight back to O'Hare, which is where we flew out of, and we made it back home safe and sound. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe if you are not, and I will see you in my next one.